we don't make the World Series, it's an embarrassment. That's where I'm at. If we don't make the World Series, it's an embarrassment. Will you officially call for Boone and Cashman to be fired? Yeah. I said, me and Ev both said we blow up everything yeah. if yeah. we don't make the World Series. I think that's Agreed. fair. All right, it's The Rundown. It is Tuesday, October 8th, brought to you by DraftKings. What's better than watching football on the weekend? Well, watching football on the weekend with the DraftKings Sportsbook app in your hand. Our partner, DraftKings, is hooking up all new customers who bet $5 with instantly going to get $200 in bonus bets. You can follow all your favorite Barstool personality picks in the in the betting group. I just got in there recently. Clemmer, I know you finally got in there. I finally got in, yes. Yeah, yeah. Look at all our bets. Tail them. Big day. Big day. Big big day for and me. people reply with the emojis. You got in there? Yeah, yeah. Nice. I, and I've been spamming it. Maybe too much. But, like, people... It, it makes me good. They they react. You could like react yeah. to an emoji. They give the cigarettes sometimes, which is good, like smoke. But then I get a lot of gay flags, too. So. Uh, I, get, I get rats for rat race. That's why? Makes me happy. Yeah, 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 I'm sure that's why. Yeah. He just thought for a second. No, like, no, oh, it no, no, had never dawned nice. on him that it no, could be anything people, else. No, let me give him my own. Not your rat like features. Nice. Uh, download the app now. New customers use the promo code RUNDOWN. And you can bet just a five dollar on just five dollars on any wager and get two hundred dollars in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code Rundown only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. Honestly, DraftKings is the only uh, fun part of the Yankee Royals game for me last night. Hit a Volpe stolen base, Jazz home Royals. run. Royals. What did I say? Royals. Oh, Yankees Royals uh, game last night. Uh, just a really bad game. Just a you, really you like also like. Every four seconds, like, oh, I hit that bet. Hit Xavier oh, I hit the that bet. Touchdown. Like, Look, if you bet like... everything, you will hit that <laughs> um, Maybe. Uh, no guarantee. Uh, but, yes, uh, Yankees lose to the Royals 4-2. We were streaming it. First Yankee boy stream. Just a really, a really bad game. It was typical Yankee October baseball where the bats shut down. They can't get a clutch hit, big hit to save their life. Can't hit with runners in scoring position. Aaron Judge has been a no-show. Aaron Judge has got to show up. They lost that game in the first inning, first and second. Nobody out. Aaron Judge strikes out. He's earned a very long leash. He's still the greatest hitter I've ever seen. I still think the Yankees I still think the Yankees will win the series. Okay. But I also, there's part of me that's like, oh, actually, no. This is it. They lose. He's Frank the Yank. I will say, though. Everything, so I, everything I just said is fair. But, Marty, you, you said going to the series, you're like, this is the easiest series the Yankees will play, which is not I've true. I've been more they've right swept, than you have. They've no. swept many. 1-1. They've swept many postseason series. It's not the easiest series they've ever run. Cole Reagan's was is the only loss we're going to have. They're not going to. They didn't even pitch that play. well. He only went four he innings. Still pitched well. He just didn't last. You guys did a good job chasing him out of the game. Yeah. It, but, but listen, we're going to be fine. We're going to. Uh, we're not going to lose to Seth Lugo and then whoever they throw out for four he's, game he's four. Good. He's fine. He's not. Right. He doesn't scare me. Yeah, but he is fine. Good. Cole Reagans is very good. He's Cole Reagans good. is better than Lugo. Lugo I, yeah. is fine. Now, Bobby Witt's a lot better at home. Does that worry you? Yes. You're going to talk shit about Judge, though. You're going to talk shit about him. He's 0 for 10. He's been, he hasn't got he, one hit. Yeah, he sucks. He sucks in the playoffs. Right he has now. not been good. So it's the same thing. I I, but I don't be, care if Bobby Witt's good or not. I we're going to be completely Judges. fine. We're gonna, they're going to break out tomorrow. We'll be good. But we're, we had a healthy conversation for once in, on Pick Central. Stanton, right? Do you think that Dominguez is an actual step up of like our, makes our team a lot better, or is, do you stick with the base running woes and he can't run? And can't get up. It's time. I mean, he had he had you know one of their only two RBIs last night, and he has been good in the playoffs, but it is such a hindrance the fact that he just can't run. Like he can't run. It cost them two runs in game one uh, last night. The double play. People are like, oh, he hit it so hard. A lot of people could have beat that out. Jim Carlos Stanton didn't. I don't think that. I don't. That, like, it, no matter what, he would have. It is a problem like, he that he can't have. run. You're basically just hoping he gets up there and hits a home run or that he hits it far enough into the outfield that he gets a single. Like, that, and that is an issue. Dominguez's bat wasn't great. Uh, when that's he got what called I'm up. saying. Yeah, he's but he is 170. He's, well, he, well, here's the. Let me just jump in. So, since the All Star break, John Carlos Stanton, 210 batting average, 292 on base, a 446 slugging. You can say Dominguez wasn't great when he got called up. I agree. He has a better on base percentage this year in the major leagues than John Carlos. I mean, way smaller sample size, but well, still, it's still at seventy bats. at bats. But and still, it, that's so small. And also, the small, guys never I, played in the playoffs. Is his first? You're gonna throw him in right away. But, but John Carlos Stanton is one for nine. I'm sorry, one for eight. Excuse me, with a walk and a single. 
he's not doing the job either. I, I agree with you. And I, I and like do you said, think, he's a liability in the base path. I think there's an element that he, unless he hits a home run, his value to the Yankees is probably more of a negative. Oh, it's a huge negative. So you're just hoping that he hits a home run, which, again, I know you, you hate Giancarlo. I actually am probably more fair to Giancarlo than people would think just because he has delivered in the playoffs. And when you deliver in the playoffs, he has. I pat you on the head. His playoff uh, slugging finish is exceptional. He's great. Look at his career. So I think you start him game three. Um, if, if, he, if he, you know, sucks again, then you have to make a change game four. That yeah. would be my, my take. I think we'll be fine. I think we're going to be completely fine. That's it's a different tone than you had. No, I'm like, I, I'm not worried at all still. I'm really not. I truly am not. Yesterday was, I also liked how Jazz was like, yeah, they got lucky. We'll be completely fine. I didn't fine. like that. Loved I did it. not like that. Look, that reminds me of Severino. The, they're so scared. The, our fans, they, you're just so scared. It's bull, you don't scared. give the opposing team bulletin board material. It was Luis Severino in 2022 or after the ALCS, the Astros. Oh, being the they Yankees. got lucky. Judge hit it 106 miles per hour. They hit it 91. How about you just fucking win a game? Being I, the Yankees it starts with the clown Aaron Boone oh, who gives them. Yeah. Aaron Boone's been great this post. He was great game one, but again, he was game great two, yesterday. Great bullpen management yesterday. You got to give him that. Fine. Yeah, I hit. I want them to hit. They didn't score right. It's I mean, not it's, Aaron Boone's fault. It's, yeah. it's the energy. I want him to light, I want him to light board, a fucking fire under them. The Yankees. Just saying, being, you're Aaron Boone. No, you're at, you, no. If you were the Yankees manager, you'd be like, yeah, oh, we'll be fine, boys. Yeah, tough loss tonight. We'll be fine. No. I, I, want, I want me in that clubhouse. I want a Joe Girardi. Oh, no, they would that. hate they would, you. Oh, they would, oh, they my God. They would hate me, but they'd respect you, me. No, no, they would not. They would not. They, they would stop. They, they would say, I hate no. this they'd guy, stop, but I got to go prove no. him wrong. I think Aaron Judge would retire early. <laughs> the whole team. Maybe we'll get someone who could hit in the playoffs then. No, Aaron, again, Aaron Judge, he's so amazing. If he does not hit the bad, playoff. Stop saying the bad things about him. Stop. I he have, I have hit, really not, gotta hit but yesterday. I'm getting close. You got to hit yesterday. It's he got an infield games. single. In the big, biggest moment, he struck out. He got to hit, didn't he? I have some positives for the Yankees. And believe me, the last thing I want to do is this, because I hate the Yankees. I want you guys to suffer. I want to see him cry. I love it. But you guys hit their closer at the end of the game. I think that means a lot. Um, oh, he does not scare me at all. But, like, the fact oh. that you guys hit him that well, and it wasn't just Chaz. They had another base hit as well. Yeah, Birdie. Birdie, and, Birdie was Which good brought the time running the plate. Bad at bad after that. But, like, but that just – that shows you that he's – that's a problem for the Royals. And the other thing is, I don't know, you guys are fucking good. And you guys – Cole Reagan's their best pitcher. You're going to lose that game anyway. I said up top, Yankees in four. I hate to say it. It's probably still Yankees in four. It is. It, it, it just – listen, I still think the Yankees are going to win. You put a gun to my head, I say okay. the Yankees win. But I'm just having the – Flashbacks to all the playoff loss series where the the bats go the bats go quiet and it's it and then we're gonna be like Fire Boone and Cashman and they're the not gonna do anything. The bats went quiet. gonna go to the Mets. That that's right, now we're talking. That's that might happen by the way. The bats went quiet against head. the Astros. Like the Astros. They who, went quiet last night. They were quiet I'm talking world. about I'm talking about when you're saying in the past, right? A lot. Well, of I'm the thinking past, like, like like the Indians in 07, the Tigers, the Angels. I'm whoever you all face though, but whoever you face 07, next. 07. We're that's, talking that's about the 07. Got, I'm thinking about. <laughs> I'm thinking about 07. But you guys are gonna face whoever you face in the next round is gonna be a good pitching team. Not they maybe they won't hit back. That's what I'm saying. Tigers and Guardians. No matter what, if we don't make the World Series, it's an embarrassment. That's where I'm at. If we don't make the World Series, it's an embarrassment. Will you officially call for Boone and Cashman to be fired? Yeah. I said, me and Ed both said we blow up everything if we don't make the World Series. I think that's fair. Agreed. All right. So, okay, let's say they make the World Series and lose. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but, like, it's fine in the sense of, You guys are fine with keeping Boone, keeping Cash? That's fair. You make the World Series. World Series. Yeah, I mean... It's a failure of a season, to yes. be clear. Like, yes. it's the George Steinbrenner motto of, like, every year you don't win the World Series, it's a failure. But I think if they make the World Series, you can't justify firing. I agree. Firing. Okay. That's and reasonable. also, let's, yeah. we're all on the same page here. Bob Costas is fucking awful. It's crazy. So, he's a, but he's a huge Yankees fan. Huge. He's biased. He doesn't act Yankees. like it. But he just doesn't do this regularly, and he seems so out of, like, out of it. I, I don't know if I, my problem was as much with Bob Costas as it was with the fucking camera angles. Every oh. time they cut to a bad camera angle, it was horrible. Horrible camera angle. The ca- they do the one from the umpire's helmet. You no, can't that, fucking see no, anything. No, that's, I disagree. The umpire ca- oh, helmet. Oh, I hate the umpire cam. Did you see the home run was Salvi's cool. home run? It was only that was cool. cool. Yeah, Everything it was a home was run for the fucking Royals. Yeah, but it was still cool to but see, wait, like, how, I didn't love it. Believe it me, bad, I didn't love it. It was a bad omen for the Yankees. He, he, Every time they he doesn't care about the angle. He cares about the omen. Oh, that's stupid. That's what I'm saying. The angle, the other angle. No omens don't mean anything, Mr. Jinx, Chris Plummer. <laughs> Jinx, right, right. I, I affect what happens uh, another stadium hundreds of miles away. Mm-hmm. I wish that was that powerful. I wish. 
Bryce Harper literally showed you. I wish I was that. I think he's just a really great player at a home run. Well, you weren't scared of him now. Now I mean, you no, are. That's not true. I, I, apparently, I was defending the Yankees there. I said he's not in the level of Judge or Otani. I was defending a Yankee. Regardless, Bob Costas would, would talk about George Brett for three innings. A George and Brett then, was Taylor Swift last night. They couldn't They couldn't show couldn't him. Stop. George Brett. Could, he, it's, we're at Yankee Stadium. We're not at the Kansas City Stadium. So I was watching, I was watching your stream a lot because I, I actually enjoyed the hell out of it. It was like kind of like watching the game of friends. It was great. And you guys kept... I'm sad, No, I, I appreciate it. It's just like such like the pitch. Like, yeah, we're just, it's just going to watch it. Was, but it was nice. I had it on. I felt it, it, was, yeah. it was just, it was fun. I had you guys on more than I had you guys off. And you guys made it so I think the Hubs made a good point. Like, Willie Randolph threw the first pitch. Yeah. So, Willie Randolph, by the way, if you're old, younger, don't know, was an amazing play. He would have been a huge star today. Got on base a ton. Played a great second base. I want to see more series. Willie Randolph. Yeah, George Brett, show him when it's in Kansas City. Not. Well, you can show him a little bit at the game. Show him once. But there's other. Uh, are there they not had a Yankees whole, there? Show they him. had a whole fucking segment that John Birdie was a goalie when he was 10. And, and I'll tell you what, though, that ended up being. Stop kind, it. it ended Stop up being it. like, oh, when he was hate, making good plays at I first. I don't hate that. When he's 10? I, but yeah. it wasn't like he was in college. But, that's, Playing goalie at D1, it, that's I need that more than showing George Brett 17 That's times. like talking about the 2007 Yankees well, and then Tommy's John Birdie was in, when he was seven playing goalie. Tommy's, I mean, Tommy's playing with stuffed animals on the stream. Yeah, that, that's... I mean, it's called a stress toy. It's called a stress toy. Yeah, you shouldn't know. We're not... We shouldn't st- <laughs> yeah, people, people do weirder things than, than holding a stuffed animal. <laughs> Um, let's go to the Mets, though. <laughs> Mets, Philly streams, uh, electric. This place is insane asylum, I forgot. That's true. This place is crazy. Uh, speaking of crazy, we have Frank will not be on. He's going to his first, uh, Mets playoff game ever. Ever? Yep. Ever. Ever. Never- wow. I know Big Cat is happier than anyone because he oh. was like, I need the, I need Frank to go. Remember in 22? So he doesn't blame me. I remember him, like, when they, when they lost and he was, he was sitting right next to him when they lost in 22, and he was crying at me, going, I'm never going to get to go to a playoff game. He was like, literally like, in, in tears. So this is good for him. He gets to go. Oh, great for him. He gets to go game three. He's, uh, it's good. They had to switch it because you need him there for an elimination or yeah, a sure. uh, advancing. But tonight, uh, I think Max has come in game four. I believe so. The stream tomorrow is going to be chaos because the Mets start at 5, Yankees start at like 7, 10 or something like that. Yeah, we're going to enter. And it's yeah. going to be... Everybody is going to be on the stream, and we're going. The Yankees are going to be in the back, and then we're going to do a. We got to figure out. Maybe yeah. we might just have a. We're going to do a line something. change. Are we going to be like nice? Like what is the? I won't outwardly cheer. I'm watching my game, and then uh, I'm yeah. going to watch my game. All right. So we're going to be cool with each other then. Well, I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't guarantee right. where my emotions will. I don't plan to come in with like a. I'm not going to draw a first blood. I don't plan on doing like a Yankees. Well, Philly the thing is, jersey. we're going to be. In a better spot than you, because we'll know where your game's at. We're gonna be the first. Well, no, the, I mean the Mets. Uh, but if we win today, we could be up two one, and then we're more. No, I know. I'm just saying we'll know what they're at. Like it's that could be that could be our season, which is like horrible to say, but like you know what I mean. Like that could be, oh, be great. <laughs> he cares more about you losing. I, well, I be, care more. I, well, we we have. I will have the Yankees. Yankees I'd Philly. rather. You know, Ash, I'd Ash rather the Rudy. Mets win because they're a worse team than the Phillies. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, that's, that's what fair, I'd rather I would, if they well, beat them. Well, if, if I were in your shoes, like unbiased, like don't hate the well, Yankees. Well, the Mets would, to win. Would, yes. <laughs> I don't love the Mets. I wouldn't want to face Zach Wheeler. The Phillies are a lot better team, but if the Mets can get them out, good for them. And we'll just talk. I mean, as after show, we'll just do it. We have the Dave Smitty factor. We don't know if Dave and or Smitty will be on streams. No idea. Yeah, there's a uh, group text with people kind of saying if they're in or not, like on the stream tonight, and uh, haven't seen anything from Smitty yet. I'll double check. It is. Uh, and if Dave everything comes, is just but he hasn't said he's not coming. So to be an incredible two days of streams, you have Dave versus Smitty. You have, uh, well, I guess technically they're on the same it's side. Clemmer and Clemmer and uh, yeah. Max are now. A, him and I Clemmer can see Max going. wringing your neck. Like what about Homer Simpson? What about Joey Coldcuts? Joe, I don't know this Joey Coldcuts man. Uh, he does, Cold does not Cuts? care for me. You no, know Joey Coldcuts. Oh, from the he said he in the said, Chicago. Yeah, yeah. yeah he said that Clemmer. He just yeah, he said he's annoying. Yeah, he's, yeah, he was correct. It's kind of like I don't know. My job is to tweak Mac during those Max during those things. Right? I got to get him going. Listen, you, I, yeah, Joey Coldcuts doesn't have to like you. I like no, Joey. Cold I, Cold I don't know this Joey. Cold, I, he, I brought, saw, he used to be a. Uh, he used to be the. He used to work at a restaurant in L.A., and that's how I met him. I'll tell you what, I love the name. He was great. Great name. He's funny. I like him as a person, but I've met him. You've never met him. Never met him. I bet I'd like him. I'm sure he'd like like you you less in person after meeting you. He might not like you. What's that? I said he would like you less in person (laughs) after meeting you. That's a mean thing to say. That's a mean thing to say. He'd go, yeah, he's probably not that bad. And then he he would meet you, and he'd be like, wow, he's worse than I thought. 
Uh, but yeah, tune into the stream. What, what a piece oh, of shit. A piece of shit. I guess the he's stream. A, he's a complete piece of shit. <laughs> he really is. He's like a bad person. Six thirty, right? Uh, the, like this comes out at six thirty. Met game. Met games are at five. five oh eight. So. Where do you put your stuffed animals in the bathroom, like, like in the toilet? And just... It's not even my stuffed animal. It's Victoria's. Oh, then I wouldn't. <laughs> you're, t- you're taking someone else's stress dolls? Yeah, that's actually correct. That's weird. I needed one. Um, so yeah, tune in for that. It's, it's fucking a loser. As they say, it's a powder keg. <laughs> <laughs> and we simply don't know what's going to happen. Rundown, obviously, yesterday was crazy. Um, Oof, yeah. 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 And the Guardians blew a save last night. Uh, well, didn't blow a save. Blew it 0 0. Class A. Blew it. Class A had a .61 ERA throughout the entire season. <laughs> Let up three He's no runs. No Mariano. Let up three runs in the playoffs. It's not good. It's not good for the uh, Guardians. Just yeah, Scooble is awesome. Out. He's awesome, that guy. I fucking love yeah, him. Yeah, he is incredible. Uh, he's like, I think he's the only true, like, dog of a pitcher in the playoffs right now. Yeah. I, I, I put oh, Zach, Zach Wheeler, Wheeler and Zach Wheeler. And Zach Wheeler. Uh, I mean, you guys have the best pitcher in baseball last year in your team. Garrett Cole, yeah, but yeah. as much as it pains me to say in the playoffs, I'm not like, fuck yeah. He's had some good performances, Yeah, Yes, guys. he has, but. I just don't, he doesn't seem 100%. I mean, he just, no, he doesn't. The guy was he was very good down the stretch. Um, he had like a two-something ERA over his last ten starts, but not great on on Saturday. Uh, Dod- or Michael King honestly has put himself in the dog conversation. Dodgers Padres. He absolutely has. But before we get to Dodgers Padres, second half of the rundown is brought to you by Factor. Sweater weather has sw- <laughs> tongue twister. Swe- <coughs> he does, he does so his much. thing now. He changes. When he, like, messes up something, he changes his voice to shield him. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Sweater rather, he's, like, he's in on the joke. Yeah, yeah, Sweater rather yeah, yeah. pairs perfectly with savory fall foods, but with your busy yeah. schedule, sometimes it's hard to eat the way you'd like to. Sitting everywhere. That's where Factor comes in. Their chefs do the shopping and the chopping to bring you fresh, never frozen, fully cooked meals right to your doorstep. All you have to do is heat and eat. All their meals are dietitian improved. So you know you're getting the nutrition you need along with the fall flavors you crave. And when it comes to meals, everyone wants the same thing, options. That's why Factor offers 35 wholesome meals every week. They got the Gourmet Plus, the Keto, Calorie Smart, Vegan and Veggie, so you'll always find something you love that suits your lifestyle. There's more to Factor than just lunches and dinners, from easy breakfasts and smoothies to delectable midnight snacks. Factor has over 60 plus add-ons to keep you fueled and focused 24 seven and with a plethora, a great SAT word. If you, plethora is a great SAT word. If you ever want to like fake that you know how to cook, Factor, Factor is like, And with a their beautiful plethora meal, of flavors, you'll never get meal. bored. Head to factormeals.com slash rundown50 and use code rundown50 to get 50% off your first, bo- oh, that's a great deal. 50% off your first box and 20% off hmm. your next month. That's code RUNDOWN50, RUNDOWN50 at factormeals.com slash RUNDOWN50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. We always say it, but last year on uh, Surviving Barcelona, we had factor meals all week, and it felt like I was in a great restaurant. Didn't, didn't, didn't worry at all about Those steaks look meals. incredible. Yeah, and their shakes, too, are, are great. Factor's really good. Um, okay. Uh, Dodgers, Padres, I mean, whatever. They're, they're play tonight. Great series. It's a I, fun series. I, I actually kind of want to bet the Dodgers tonight. Really? I think everybody's like, oh, Padres series to I lose. Padres, Padres series to lose. I think people forget the Dodgers. I know they're pitching Walker little, Bueller has not been Walker good. Been but he's all, a guy that he could have a playoff moment. Why? He's at a five and a half year. He's been he terrible. He believes in every other guy besides his own guys. It's funny. And meanwhile, Michael King is a legit ace. I know. 200 strikeouts with dynamite effort. It day. just, it's never that easy. If everybody's like, oh, of course the Padres will win tonight, I want to be on the other side of that. Well, I mean, all right. I mean, I took, I took the run line. So, I mean, that's how confident I am on it. I, I, I really like the Padres. I took the Padres. Also, you can take the Padres to win the series. It was like plus 105. I, I just, Why is yeah. trusted data stop in the playoffs? Playoff games are too hard. It's, it, it, what it the is. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop in the playoffs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy to me. Regular season I actually thought that the other day. I was like, the guy stopped at one. That's like two. when people are paying more attention to baseball than ever by a thousand. Well, I, I still give my picks on a pick central. I, I didn't bet baseball all season long, and really? now I'm betting it. Oh no, it's, it's every well, day. The, the problem is the data is diff. Like the data is like it's trusting the data, and the data in playoffs is people are using pitches differently. There's different. It's different usage. It's hard to get true. So you data. admit the playoffs are different. I, I do. I admit it on the I show thought today. you were the guy that was like, oh, playoffs. Nope. Was, but blah, 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 he's changed blah, blah, blah. it. Not at all. You After guys, once again, Mark misinterpreting Rick. what I'm saying. No. How worried are no. you? I mean, jinxes aren't real, but I mean, Dave said it yesterday in the rundown, like the Clemmer curse. Okay. 
I, I mean, well, I, mean, I know it. I mean, if Bryce Harper hits three home runs tonight, he's an awesome player. Will there be a party that's like that's a little bit on me? Zero percent. It's one hundred percent on Bryce next, Harper. If they lose the next two, you, if you lost, Joey Cole, 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 Cole Cuts would hit. <laughs> Probably, he does. If you lost the next two, you would not feel like you were a little partially. I have zero percent response. That's crazy. I, w- I wish I could. It has nothing to do with me. I love watching baseball. It doesn't mean that I don't have the ego to think I'm playing a role in it. But but Clemmer, Clemmer, you look around in the huge, expansive universe and how this all came together, and you don't think there's just a tiny percent chance that that energy you put out could affect the baseball game? 0.0%. That's crazy. It has to. They're- Why does it have to? He's key- uh, Clemmer Olbermann. That's why I, s- I figure out. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Coming from you, that's no. horrible. You remind me of Keith Olbermann. Oh, fuck like, you, bro. You're biting sense. Oh. Of humor, no. your condescension. Oh, You're Keith head. Olbermann. What are you? Clemmer Olbermann. <laughs> I'm Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Olbermann, uh, Olbermann used to be great on, in the 90s with Dan Patrick. Like, that sports center was great, and then he lost his mind. Yeah. It's sad. Robert uh, Sala. No, he's fired. one of the worst people that's ever lived. You, you, you move on from the Olbermann yeah, talk. Yeah, Olbermann's... Uh, no, I like the Olbermann talk. Not good. All right. <laughs> oh, it's not good. Not good. <laughs> uh, Robert Sala fired. Clemmer, you're a Jet fan. Woohoo! Me, outside looking in, feels like this was five games too late. Should have done it in the offseason. Oh, you could say it's a year and a half too late. Uh, my issue is, though, people still have their job. Nathaniel Hackett still has a job. You took the defensive coordinator, made him the coach. Our defense was the best thing we had going. Is that going to make our defense more? So I would have liked if you told me we fired Robert Sala, we hired Mike Brabel. Okay, let's go. Just, I mean, they still could. It just feels like, because that doesn't We're talking about really it, it never happens. No. But, but also, why, it's, why, hard to, why, it's hard to just plug in a new guy in, in when is the middle of the season. Quite, I think they play the Bills on later. Monday. It's like, which I don't know. Eight, that's all like I don't know. Nine or ten, maybe? But my thing is, it's just Aaron Rodgers wanted them fired. That's why he got yeah. fired. Yes. Because the Jets haven't gotten rid of a coach midseason since 1976. Are you worried Aaron Rodgers is running your franchise into the ground? No, 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 no. I'm worried. It's Nathaniel Hackett not playing very Don't well. Don't like Nathaniel Hackett. Firing the head coach. No, I want the head coach. I want, I want Aaron Rodgers to almost run the franchise to some extent. Like, because the current system oh, yeah, isn't working. Crazy. Like, we need a new, like, if Aaron Rodgers wants, I don't care how Robert Sala got out of town, as long as it happened. But now we need to go and get a real head coach. I think he's a bad coach, right? But also, he's not calling the offensive plays, and he's also not calling the defensive plays. What's going to change? Well, the defensive plays were fine. The offensive... The offensive plays are a disaster. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping for... That's honest, not Salah's fault at all. I think it is. He's still the Some coach. of it is. Some of it is. Because they didn't like... They didn't but like is it mostly coach. Hackett's fault? No argument here. They have... You know, Jets have only gotten over 270 yards on total offense once this year. Yes. That's a problem. I mean, also, it's... With Aaron Rodgers... Part of it is on Aaron... Well. Like, a, a decent chunk of it is on Aaron Rodgers. He's not playing very well. No, he's playing awful. I push back on that a little bit. I think he hasn't had a... He has another opportunity to play well because they run fucking every time. That's and we not saw true. him finally, the second half of that game last week, we saw him finally kind of unencumbered by this. And he played pretty well. He also had three picks. In the two in the first half. You're you're a little uh, like you you jump on other quarterbacks faster than you're jumping on your own. Yeah, I give other quarterbacks shit. Yeah. I just, the thing is, you'll see Aaron Rodgers have a really bad drive. Then you'll see him have a great drive, and you'll see him have two bad ones. And I don't really know what I'm watching yet. You know what's good? That's that's bad. You know what's One great drive and three bad drives. Or whatever. You know, like, like no, but like, it has yeah. been more He's bad He's definitely than good. not. I think the, which is why when we did our quarterback rankings b- b- before the season, I, I don't know why people thought Aaron Rodgers was going to come out and be 2015 Aaron Rodgers. He's a 40-year-old coming off an Achilles injury, and he's playing like it. He, I still don't think he's bad, but... The Jets need him to be like vintage Rodgers. I just don't think he's capable of that anymore. You know what's good? We got a good quarterback. Well, you don't. Um, what? He's a great guy. He's playing. He's nice what? He not he's a great guy, left? and he played great on Sunday. He's, he's looked left? pretty good he's this played, year. He's looked great this year. I would die back the great. I mean, he's a pretty he's good. probably the fourteenth best quarterback in the it's NFL. Not great. Right now. There's only thirty teams. <laughs> 32 teams. And and it, well, most important is pretty good. Is so fourteen is great. Fourteen out of thirty-two is great. Uh, would you want a top 15 quarterback for your team? You're, you don't have you don't even have a top I, I, 15 quarterback. I would rather have Aaron Rodgers start for me on Sunday than Daniel Jones. I'm trying, I'm trying. We're playing Monday, but you would too. Oh. Look at the stats right now. It's fine. And he has a better team. Come on, this is Marty, crazy. It's fine. Come on. It's not. I'm not so sure, like, so not even just, joke. Just, I used to joke. This time, you I'm would really rather not. have Daniel Jones your quarterback than Aaron Jones. Aaron Rodgers. This team. second? Yes, yes, right now. You have a better team, better options, and we are—he's playing better right now. That's insane. He is. He is though. 
He's not like playing that much better. Yes, he is. If you look at Stat Boy, look it up, Stat Boy. I, I have, I have, look I have it up, I have, Olberman. Look it up, look Olberman. Look encyclopedia. Well, he has six touchdowns, three picks this year. He's, he's looked. He just is playing better than Aaron Rodgers right now. I'm not saying, like, obviously he's not the best court, but he's playing way better than him. I wouldn't say way better either. They have the same record. They, you, beat the, like you beat the Patriots and the Titans. Yeah. They're playing they're – playing, Jones is playing a bit better. I don't think it's night and day. I would it's say Jones pretty, looks a lot better than last year. If you look at the stats <laughs> – are you worried Jones you know is playing just good enough yeah. to stick no, around I'm not for? Worried. I know we're gonna go seven and ten. He's gonna be our quarterback for the next two years. <laughs> Which honestly is fine. No, I want that. No, no. Listen, Ugh. I want them to. I'm okay. I don't want them to draft one of these quarterbacks. I want Arch Manning. I don't even know if he's gonna be very good. This might I don't be one care. of the best. I want Arch Manning. I like the, the idea of having Eli's nephew be their next franchise. Of course, player. I want little. Archie so if they too. gotta go seven and ten this year and pick 14th and get out of another offensive yeah. a wide yeah. receiver or something, and then next year we suck. And we get Arch Manning. I'm in it for the 2026 season. Jesus. But I will say, if the Giants beat the Bengals on Sunday, I'll start thinking playoffs. No, we're so back. Yeah. We're ahead of the 49ers right now. That's kind of crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. Cackery, sorry. Um, um, all right. Anything else Tune going into on? the streams. Stream tonight. Uh, five o'clock. Oh, I guess it'll be on when people watch. Uh, me and Marty both have videos out. Or yes. Mine's about to come out. Yours is out. What's, Pat Maroon. When's yours? What's yours coming out? Uh, 3 p.m. So it's out now. Started nice. a bunch of Give different podcasts. Good. You were on one, Clemmer. Okay. Little tease of a Oh, is uh, is um, Sparky on one? Sparky he is was on. Very one. excited. Sparky yesterday. Sparky keeps asking me when it's coming out. I gotta let him know. 3 p.m. I did a relationship advice podcast with Clemmer. Yep. King of divorces. So whatever he no, says. I, I've, you, I've been divorced you once. I don't to the opposite. The king of divorce. I, I've been divorced <laughs> once. It's a, it's a brilliant a concept. People. There's a lot of people in this I had, company cl- I had Clemmer heard. on. Why do I get all the divorces? I had Clemmer on, and I said, whatever this guy you says. More divorces than anybody else here. That's not. True. That's not. Nobody here has more? more than you. No one has more than me. <laughs> but I don't have more than everybody else either. No, there's and a lot of tide. There's a lot of tide. But why do I get all this shit for the divorce? A lot of tide. You're just a perfect divorced guy. I think I might be. Yeah. There you go. I should get points for that. <laughs> yeah, no, not king of divorce, king of marriage. King of remarriage. <laughs> I'm the king. I've been married twice. Be that, motherfuckers. Yeah. No one can. <laughs> well. All right. Um, no one here can. How was Pat Maroon? <laughs> Pat Maroon was great. Um, it was a. Uh, it was. It was pretty fun. Listen, I, I was. I surprised myself a little bit. I could get the puck up. I can skate. I That's got to be the hardest one. I can't stop, though. It's a problem. I was going a little fast, and then after I would shoot it, I'd have to, you know, the guy from the Mighty Ducks that, like, smashes into the boards? That's what I was doing. I can't stop. But it was really fun. Pat Maroon's awesome. He plays for the Blackhawks, so he's playing tonight against the, did you know the Utah Hockey Club's a team now? What does that mean? The old Coyote. That's a team name in the NHL. That's a team name? Yes. The NHL. Coyote is <laughs> yeah. for the Utah. And I was like, what is that? Like a... Uh, nope. No, that is a oh, NHL no. hockey team. Yeah, it's the, the Utah hockey team. When the fuck did the Coyotes team. move to... <laughs> All season. They had McMajor State. God, imagine going years. from Phoenix to Salt Lake City. Oh. oh. During hockey season? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was thinking more just women. I went to go but... look because Pat texted me. He's like, oh, I'm playing tonight. I'll, I'll like interact with it tomorrow. And I looked, he's playing the Utah Hockey Club. I'm like, who the wow. fuck is that? I spent a week in they couldn't think of Salt a name. Lake City. Yeah, I, I kind of like it. I actually though. like Salt Lake City. Shout out Moochie's Meatball. Shout out Blue Plate Diner. Shout out Porky's Barbecue. All right, that's right. <laughs> we'll wrap it up. But yeah, go watch my Blue video. Plate Diner closed, I think. Go watch Tommy's video. Um, go watch the streams. And go watch the streams. See you guys tomorrow.